kind of place can we buy? We only have 273 pesos and 50 centavos. Mom said that we have to buy five plates. Do you think we have enough money? I'm not sure. Let's go to the kitchen reception and see what's available. These plates look very nice. Oh no, these are expensive plates. We cannot buy even one piece of this with the money we have. When I grow up, I will buy a lot of this. Okay, stop dreaming and look for something that we can get for 273 pesos and 50 centavos. That's all we have, remember? Hey, take a look at the ceramic plates. I like them. They are nice, but we can only buy four of these with our money. Besides, they're breakable. And you're the one who breaks a lot of things in the house. I actually saw some nice plastic plates on the other side. They are cheaper and they last longer. You think we can get five of them? Hmm. Yes, I think we have enough money for five of those plates. have 273 pesos and 50 centavos. They need to buy 5 plates. If they found 5 plates that cost exactly 273 pesos and 50 centavos, how much is each plate? Ready for the solution? Let's do it! Our problem is 273.50 divided by 5. 27 divided by 5 equals 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. 27 minus 25 equals 2. Bring down 3. 23 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 5 equals 20. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Bring down 5. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. 7 times 5 equals 35. And 35 minus 35 equals 0. So we get a quotient of 54.7. That's 54 pesos and 70 centavos for each plate. Easy, isn't it? It's exactly like dividing whole numbers. You just need to put the decimal point right above the decimal point in the dividend. What could be easier than that?